So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually psychologically force somebody to choose a specific card just by talking to them. Now to the spectator, when you're doing this to them, it seems like everything that they're saying is a completely free choice, but in reality, the trick will always go the way that you, the magician, wants it to go. So no matter what the spectator says, you will be able to force a specific card on them and they will have to choose a specific card. I'm going to be showing you how you can force basically any face card on the spectator. So for example, if you needed to force the Queen of Spades for any reason, I'm I'm going to show you guys how you can actually make the spectator think all their choices are free choices, but in reality all their choices are going to lead up to choosing the Queen of Spades. This method doesn't really work with number cards just because it would be a little bit more difficult. It is possible to do it with number cards, but it is a little bit more difficult. So the easier method is just to force face cards. So you guys can force any face card. You could do Queen of Spades, you can do King of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, Queen of Hearts, Queen of Clubs, like literally you can do any face card card that you want. It really doesn't matter. So let's just choose a random one to do right now. We'll just do a common one, Queen of Hearts in this case. Let's say that you're doing a trick and the end reveal is the Queen of Hearts. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can actually psychologically force someone to choose the Queen of Hearts. You have the Queen of Hearts like lost in the deck, but in reality you're just controlling it the entire time to the top. Um, and then what you can do is you can say, all right, so I'm going to have a little secret prediction here uh, that I'm gonna just, just going to place here right on the table. And this is going to be your Queen of Hearts, but they have no idea what it is yet. And now you're actually going to take the entire deck and you're just going to put it inside of the box. And then you can put this inside of your pocket. Now you're going to say, all right, so now just pretend that I actually have a deck here in my hands. It's sort of like an invisible deck. And you're going to start by narrowing down from 52 cards to one single card. So imagine I have a completely brand new deck of cards here in my hand. And a brand new deck is actually split so that we have black cards on one side, red cards on the other. Which do you prefer? Now, whichever color they say they can either say red or they can say black it's completely up to them but whichever one they say we're just going to use the red cards so if they say red then you're just gonna say all right perfect and then you're gonna move on to the next part but if they say black for some reason then you can say all right so you can have the blacks and that leaves me with the reds right so that's basically how you can force so that they will end up on the reds right there so now you have the reds the next part of the trick is you can do the suit of the card so you can split the red cards into diamonds and hearts and you ask which suit do they prefer, diamonds or hearts. And again, no matter which one they say, you're just going to force hearts because it's the queen of hearts. So if they say hearts, then you're going to say perfect and then just move on to the next part. And if they say diamonds, then you say, all right, so here are the diamonds and that leaves me with the hearts, right? So that's how you force the hearts. So the next part is going to be either number cards or face cards. So in this case, you're going to choose um, face cards. No matter what they say, you're going to have to end up on face cards. So you're just going to ask the spectator. So now we can split all the hearts hearts. So we have ace through 10 of hearts being the number cards. And we also have jack, queen, king of hearts being the face cards. Do you like the face cards or the number cards more? And if they say the face cards, then you say perfect. And then you move on to the next part. But if they say number cards, then you say, all right, so here are all the number cards. And that leaves me with the jack, the queen, and the king of hearts. That's how you basically force the face cards on the spectator. So now you have the jack, queen, king of hearts. So imagine the three cards, the jack, queen, and king are just floating in the air. And I'm just going to mix them up. And I'm going to take just two of them, two random face cards here. And you're just going to ask the spectator, which two face cards did I just take? Now, you're trying to force the queen of hearts, remember? So whatever they say, you're going to try and lead up to the queen. So you have three options and you took two of them. So the spectator has a free choice. Which two did you just take? Let's say they say the jack and the king. And that would be perfect because that means you have the jack and the king and that would leave the queen of hearts on the table. And then you'd say, so that narrowed it down to the queen of hearts. So that would be one option. The other option is if they say jack, queen, or if they say queen jack. Now, if they say jack queen or queen jack, both of those options are pretty much the same outcome. Because what you're going to do is you're going to say, all right, so we have the jack and the queen here. Those were two completely free choices, right? So that eliminates the king. Out of the queen and the jack, which do you prefer? Do you prefer the queen or the jack? And then whichever one they say, if they say jack, then you say here, here's the jack. And that leaves me with the queen of hearts, right? And that would be perfect. And then if they say the queen of hearts, then you say, all right, so here's the jack. We can get rid of the jack. And here's the queen of hearts. And that's basically how you force it. And then at the end of the trick, you say, so there were 50 52 possibilities and we narrowed it down to one card, the Queen of Hearts. I made a secret prediction here since the beginning and now 
you reveal the Queen of Hearts to the spectator, and they will be completely blown away, I promise you. I've done this trick many times, and by the way, if you guys want to see a performance of this trick, you should check out my high school card trick performance, because I actually did a version of this method um, in a card trick that I did. So basically, I'm going to show you some applications for this idea. So if you guys want to do this in a normal card trick, you can actually incorporate this into sort of like an impromptu invisible deck. So you don't really need an invisible deck gimmick. You can actually just do the invisible deck card trick using a normal deck of cards and this psychological force idea. So basically what you're going to do is have the spectator shuffle the cards as much as they want to. So once the cards have been shuffled by the spectator, you can take the cards back from them and then you can spread through the cards face up. Now what you're going to be doing is showing the spectator that all the cards are shuffled, right? But what you're actually going to be doing is you're just going to look for any random face card that's in the middle of the deck. So in this case, we'll do the queen of spades, but really we, we can also do the, the king of diamonds. And we can also do like the king of hearts, but we'll just do the queen of spades in this case. And you're just going to eyeball this queen of spades and you're just going to keep your finger on it. So you can feel this queen of spades, just keep your finger on it and then just continue to spread through the cards. But all you're doing is keeping your finger on that queen of spades. Right after you show this, you're actually just going to hold the cards like this and you're going to gesture to the box and you're going to say, so we're going to put the cards back in the box. Can you actually just pick up the box, make sure there's nothing weird inside of it. And as they're picking up the box, which is empty, there's nothing in here, but they're going to be examining the box. And what you're going to do on the offbeat, since they're being distracted by this box, you're going to go back to your queen of spades here and you're just going to secretly flip it over just like this so now it's face down and then just put all the cards back on top of it and then flip the deck back over face down and that's really all you have to do so now there's one card face up in the middle of the deck which is going to be the queen of spades you just showed the spectator that all the cards are facing the same direction and now they think there's nothing inside the box so now they're going to hand you the box and you're going to put all the cards back inside of the box and you can actually give these to the spectator and you can have them place them in their pockets so that there's no way that you can actually touch these cards. So these cards go in the pocket and then now you're going to start psychologically forcing the spectator to choose the queen of spades. So so say imagine I have a deck here, we have red cards and black cards, which do you prefer, red or black? In this case, let's say they say red. So you would say, all right, so take the red cards, that leaves me with the black cards. So in the black cards, we have clubs and spades, which do you prefer? spades okay perfect so within the spades we have number cards ace through ten of spades we also have the face cards jack queen king of spades do you like numbers or faces let's say they say numbers then you'd say all right so here you take the numbers that leaves me with the faces right so within the faces we have the jack the queen and the king of spades so imagine i take just randomly two of them which two spades did i just take they say the jack and the queen all right so out of the jack and the queen which do you prefer the jack or the queen and let's say they say the jack so that, that that leaves you with the jack and that leaves me with the queen of spades now you're gonna say it so we completely narrowed down from 52 cards to one single card the queen of spades those were all completely your choices i had no influence of what you were gonna say i had no idea what you were gonna say beforehand and they would say yeah correct there's no way that you would have known and then you're just gonna snap your fingers like this you're gonna ask the spectator to take the cards out of their pocket and impossibly there is now one card facing the wrong direction and it's the card that they freely named basically and they can examine everything because now the cards are in their hands and there's really you know nothing sneaky about this so you can really do this as an impromptu invisible deck if you would like but there are also just so many other applications to this method it's just a really nice force if you need to force a card for like an impossible like location or reveal or something this would be a really really impossible way to do it but yeah you guys can be creative come up with your own ways to use this method that's basically going to be the tutorial guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial feel free to check out my performance video Video and get inspired by that video because that video shows a really cool performance using this method. So anyways, guys, be creative, make up your own tricks using this method and have fun. So see you guys next time. Bye.